All-Star John Wall is leading the way for the Washington Wizards who won four in a row. The last time they had a beat this large was six back in 2011. Things are rolling. Up next, it could be a potential playoff matchup when the Wizards square off against the Toronto Raptors. You never know. Let's hear what the Wizards had to say in the locker room. The Raptors have owned the Wizards' number this season, winning three straight before coming into this contest. In a triple overtime thriller, one of John Wall's biggest moments came when he contested Kyle Lowry, finished the game with 31 points, and most importantly, dished out nine assists in his stellar career-high season thus far. Just happy to finally get a win. You never know. This might be our first round playoff match, or whoever it is, but we're both teams that's on the road. And I think this is their second time losing this month, like last month or this month, if I'm not mistaken. So they're a great team. And it was a tough fight to the end tonight. Extra effort. I mean, the main thing is, I mean, pick one was a tough thing to guard in this league. And they was doing, basically, that's how they handled us the last two games. And we want to do a better job, but guys stepped up in their situations. And I feel like if I didn't get those effort on those plays, I mean, that's a play that they could have won the game or been a difference maker in the game. So, you know, just giving extra effort and, and having an opportunity to have that and make that one lasting play that can help you win the game. It means a lot, man. I mean, they definitely had our number the last couple games. And uh, for us to come in the road and win in three, three overtime, man, that's, that's a great deal to us. And for us to actually bear down and, and get stops and, and get this win, uh, it's definitely one we needed and hopefully we can continue the streak. Marcin Gortat notched his 23rd double-double of the season and couldn't help but discuss the intricate difference between the Raptors and the Wizards. What's the difference? Uh, well, we both, uh, one team is a young, one team is really young. They, they, they're supposed to be in a rebuilding process, but <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they're really playing well. Uh, I will say we are a little bit a more experienced team, but uh, unfortunately the matchup for us is, is really uncomfortable. And, and uh, you know, uh, Toronto has a group of guys that are really playing hard, really playing together, enjoying playing uh, together, and they have fun. So, uh, if you continue, you know, if they continue to do that, they can they can make a, you know, nice run. After an ugly breakup in Denver, the 16-year veteran Andre Miller, who made the Raptors cringe, putting up 11 points in 14 minutes, talked about adjusting to a new home halfway through the season. It's kind of like going to a going to a new school. Um, you know, you. Still got to learn the same thing, but it's in different terminology and, and obviously, you know, just being around new players. You're like a wildy old vet. How have you been able to surpass father time? I haven't, actually. You know, it, it slowly catches up, but, um, you know, just, just getting the right amount of rest and, and taking care of my body. There's a newfound confidence in a team whose puzzles are slowly falling into place and for the first time in seven years could finally see the light at the end of the tunnel with a postseason berth. I'm excited I can, I can be in a team that is competing for the playoffs. Uh, it's, still, it's still too early to say uh, you know, if we're going to make the playoffs or not, but uh, the most important thing is to compete for playoffs. And I'm in a team with a good point guard, which is really good for me as a big man. Uh, end of the day, it's, it's all about showing up on the court and performing as best as you can. But uh, right now, we're just trying to uh, build a habit, build a winning streak, and hopefully we're going to secure the spot in the playoffs. They've had an up and down year, but they've, they've, they've been able to to win games and compete with, with guys being injured. So, you know, if everybody could be healthy, then this team is a pretty good team. How satisfying is it to come into a team that there's meaningful basketball to be played, especially as we approach April? I mean, everybody wants to make the playoffs, and, you know, this is a team that, that's, that's earned the right and, and has continued to earn the right to uh, be in the playoffs and have guys that enjoy playing basketball and want to want to compete at that next level. So I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'll just say my whole team of things we had, things we're going through with injuries and dealing with different guys coming in and out, and and uh, us having tough times in the first three years, and those guys haven't been there and how the organization is changing. But I think uh, we're having a big breakthrough here, and we're just trying to keep pushing to our ultimate goal to be in the playoffs. Patience has paid off for the Washington Wizards, and always remember to keep looking up. In a short girl's world.